Hi, today I want to deal with the question is the ESP32 sensible for magnetic fields and I take a strong magnet and go over the chip and as we see the ESP32 responds to the magnetic field with a reading on the analog to digital converter or ADC. And this is no surprise because one of my viewer pointed out that the ESP32 P32 have an built-in Hall effect sensor. And today I want to play around with the readings of the internal Hall effect sensor and with different adapters and board so we can see if there's maybe a difference if we use a metal shielded ESP32 module or not. And this is my wiring for the bench setup. I only use the VCC and ground connection to wire up the ESP32 and also an OLED display. And the OLED display is connected via the I2 C bus and I only use the GPIO pins 21 and 22 for SCL and the SDA data line. And on the bench we see two adapters, one with a metal shield and one without. And the VCC and ground connections came from a USB to UART converter. So the 3.3 volt line and the ground line goes to the rails of the breadboards. And the rails are connected to the ESP32 adapters and also to the OLED displays. And the OLED displays are also also connected via the I2C bus with the SDA data line and the SCL clock line. And we begin with a small magnet. It's a neodymium type, but I also wrapped it in some plastic tape. So if we accidentally touch any of the exposed pads that we don't short anything. So that's the only reason not to affect the magnetic field in any case. So first we attach one pole of our magnet to the open chip and I also try it with a metal shielded but it's not so easy to find the real ESP32 chip under the metal shield so we can see any readings on the display. But we see that we get a positive reading with this pole and I think this is a south pole and if we switch the sides then we see a negative reading and I think this is a North Pole. And now let us boost up the magnetic field with some bunch of other magnets of the same type and we can attach them together to increase the magnetic field. And if we look at the display, the readings is now around double or maybe some kind, sometimes triple the value we read before. And now let us switch also the sides. So I take my wrapped magnet and switch it to the other side of the bundle. And then we can also see the positive reading in the display. And if we compare the readings with the open chip and the metal shielded one, we can only see a small difference. But maybe this is only a difference because the metal shield don't let us put the magnets too close to the ESP32. And now let us zoom in a little bit and we can have a closer look to the open ESP32 module. And here's also a closer look to the magnets I use. And sorry, I also have no clue what the reading is correlated to a magnetic field value. So I don't have any way to measure or to compare it with a reading in Gauss or maybe in Tesla. So here's also a close up with just one of the magnets and I take the wrap one and we can also see the readings on the display with the north and also the south pole. 
And just a brief look in the source code. This is the main routine. I can make it a little bigger. The main app entry point and we create a task for our OLED display. And we can have a look into the task and the task is just a small program. So we just initialized our display parameters, the parameters for the I2C bus. Then we initialized the ADC for the Hall Effect sensor reading. And this is this routine here. The usage of the Hall Effect sensor recommends the ADC width of, of 12 bits. And I also use, I don't know if this necessary, but I set the attenuation to zero dB so we don't have any gain to our ADCs. And I do it with channel zero and three because the Hall Effect sensor use this both channels for the readings and then we just set up our display initialize our display and then we go to an endless loop and just print out the value and sleep for 100 milliseconds so let's have a look into the print routine and the print routine just reads the hall effect sensor to a value it's an integer value so you have plus or minus values and i think the minus value values are for the North Pole and the plus values are for the South Pole, but I'm not sure. And then I just write out the, the value on the display with the special fonts and then I draw just a frame and write a little box so that we have uh, some kind of graphical indicator. And that's it. So I hope you find this useful today and you learn something and enjoy the video. If so, please give me a thumbs up to support my channel and I wish you a nice day and bye bye.